Hi guys and welcome back, um, Mr. G here. Um, in this video, we are continuing with our talk on geometry and we are now looking at angles that are formed around um, what straight lines, that is the word that is being used. So remember, as I said, so if I'm gonna make this a line, I must extend it down there so, in the, uh, so that we can uh, be uh, uh, together in this thing. So now uh, I'm going to, of course, um, I've done this already. So I'm going to just add some labels. I'm going to la label this thing here. So this thing here, one, and this one here in orange, I'm going to label it two, and this one in purple, I'm going to label it three. So in, in essence, we've got three angles around point N, okay? That is angle N1, We've got angle N2 and the value is given, it is 135 and we have got angle N3, okay? And the value is also given for angle N3, it is 180. Notice something, angle N3 actually sits on the straight line or segment LM, okay? And it measures 180 degrees. So here's a fact that I want you to learn again. You learned two facts previously, that there are angles around a point and they add up to 360, or we just say it's a revolution. Now, when angles add up to 180 degrees, we say they are supplementary. So that's the brief way. If you wanna be complicated, you can say angles on a straight line, okay? So uh, that's, that's the second fact. In other words, if you got that, we can then conclude that angle N1, okay, plus angle N2 should actually give us 180 degrees, okay? I mean, all this ang angle N1, angle N2, angle N3 are a revolution, isn't it? So, and, and that, they actually give us a revolution. So they add up to 360 from what we established in this diagram previously. So um, if, if you, if you want to be uh, very cool about it, as I left you with that example previously, if you substitute, you are looking for N1, you know N2 is 135, and you know N3 is 180, guess what you're going to get? It will, it will give you a 45. It will give, uh, okay, this, so you're gonna say this is 360. So this is gonna be the equation that you set up, okay? And you just add this, put the additive inverse, and it's gonna tell you that N1 is a 45, okay? So that's the first way you could use the fact that there's an angles around a point or the revolution. The second point that you could use is, okay, um, instead of just adding up, uh, too many things, let me just use the fact that these things lie on a straight line and just add to N1 and N2. So this is the shortcut. And so you know now N2 is 135. So you are going to have an equation that says, well, N1 plus 135 should give me 180 and therefore N1 should be 45. Now, I'm doing this to show you something that you will always have more than one way, at least, it may not be in all cases, but you will always have more than one way to find a solution in geometry, okay? And it is up to you whether you wanna use the complicated way or the brief way. In this case, using a revolution was the complicated way because we had to add three things, but here using the fact that angles on a straight line are supplementary was the brief way because we only had to add two things and that's just about it. So guys, I hope you are getting the hang of this and you have some understanding around this, okay? So this fact of angles on a straight line, it will come in there on once again, you will see it. You must actually think about it whenever you see straight lines, okay? And whenever you see angles around a point, also consider or think about the revolution, okay? Because those are two facts, fundamental facts, I should say, that will help you to be able to solve problems uh, in geometry, okay? In the next video, we're gonna move a little step up and 
study more angles. I hope you have enjoyed this. Cheers.